Thank you for the opportunity to speak about China's genocide and the world's largest government-directed human trafficking forced labor network. What's happening to Uyghurs and the other Turkic people in, is a common knowledge by now. The Uyghur ethnic identities are stigmatized and the religion is demonized. Racism and cutting-edge technology are used as a weapon of Chinese nationalism to exterminate my people while challenging the human dignity and the basic survival rights. My sister, Gulshan Abbas, a retired medical doctor, is one of these victims. She was abducted by the Chinese government on September 2018 in retaliation for my speaking out about China's human rights abuses in East Turkestan at the Hudson Institute. China has allowed no contact with her since her disappeared and has not even provided a proof of life and her whereabouts. China claims that these sprawling camps are humane vocational job training centers. This is a lie. Detainees include medical doctors, academics, business people, professionals, as well as young children and the elderly, none of whom need job training. Well-researched reporting indicates these camps serve to break people's spirit and turn them into an abundant supply of forced labor. So my question is this, who is the buyer of my sister's forced labor? Gap, LL Bean, or H&M? Is my sister in one of your contractor's factories? Are you complicit in China turning a doctor into a textile worker as a forced laborer in your factories? Nike, is one of your largest factories in China using my sister's in-law as a part of its Uyghur forced labor from Hotan. One of them is a nurse and the other is a teacher. Were they transformed by the camps into modern day slaves to produce your shoes? Or did you prefer younger Uyghur women forced to work thousands of miles from home so they would not bear children while they were housewives like my third missing sister-in-law? When my sister was taken by China, I had no idea finding her again would involve finding out US companies are so shockingly complicit in such a disappearances. 75 years ago, companies like Siemens, BMW, and the Volkswagen used forced Jewish labor and now once again complicit in their suppliers use of forced Uyghur labor making today's concentration camps a profitable venture. But this time, the rest of the world's top companies have joined in such a complicity. US law requires global Magnitsky sanctions on individual offenders and prohibits any trade in production and uh, products made with forced labor. So who's preventing the enforcement of law? Has Xi Jinping been granted veto power over US laws? Exactly what part of never again translates into not to sanction the Chinese perpetrators of today's concentration camps and to separate them from their enablers. China's coronavirus responses is highly concerning as Uyghur forced labor is being used as disposable to reopen adult factories and to be sent into Wuhan. China's rigid totalitarian reaction that created this global pandemic Today, China is failing to empty its concentration camps for people's safety with current spread of Wuhan virus. It saddens me to see the venal ruthlessness of the reality of the world communities as they are idle against this genocide of my people. Not only China is getting away with genocide, but getting rewarded with hosting Winter Olympic 2022. It angers me to see my sister and the other millions of innocent Uyghurs becoming human collaterals of international trade deals and the economic benefits. It worries me to see China become a power able to strong arm the world with trade threats, the power of the Belt and Road Initiative, debt trap diplomacy, and the manipulation in United Nations. Furthermore, China is bribing and leveraging some politicians, the media, the scholars around the world, 
and has successfully silenced international condemnation of its shameful crimes. What do you think is going to happen if this remains unchecked? Contu continuing to do business as normal with China today is being complicit with genocide and the supporting the spread of China's totalitarian communistic nationalism to the world. History will remember those who act and the, those who fail to do so. We are all responsible for what happens next. Thank you.